Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome to day three. Now, that means today is a recovery day. Again, one of our most favorite days. Again, it's Natalie here. Christian. Thank you so much for joining us. So let's get right into this recovery day. We're starting with what we call a moving groove, okay? Now this moving groove consists of three different movements. We'll be going through these movements for about 40 seconds, okay? And again, the whole idea is that we're getting our body loose and warm. So position number one, just like Christian is here, is on the ground. We've got our knees on the ground behind our hips, hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna go through some half mountain climbers. So we'll step one foot up to the outside of our hands, and then you'll notice that Christian just works for this extension. So think proud chest, lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling, and then round out and switch up sides. We'll try this one more time, and then we'll start that timer again. Lift, good, and we'll alternate right to left, okay? Ready? And let's continue to breathe and move. Again, we have 40 seconds. We'll bring that foot up, we'll find that extension, we'll push back, then come forward, find that extension, push back. Now, you can see Christian kind of pushes his hips back towards his heels in between sides, kind of like a child's pose. That's a great way to transition through this. Excellent job, about halfway right here. Hopefully you're feeling like your hips, your hamstrings, all of that area is loosening up a little bit as you go here. It might start really tight, and if you are, you can always come to your knuckles. So you can always raise that floor up a little bit if we're feeling really tight in that area. Beautiful job. Let's get one more rep, about three, two, one, there we go. Move number two is a full mountain climber twist. So now we're stepping our foot up to the outside of our hands. We're working for this extension, then lifting the back knee off the ground. So this is our extended mountain climber. From here, we're going to rotate towards this front knee. Beautiful job. So you can see this hip drops towards the ground. Now, take notice of how Christian allows his feet to move. So I just wanted to do one more rep here, and then again, we'll start our time. Hopefully you guys are kind of practicing or watching. But his foot actually slides back as he twists. Totally feel free to adjust your feet as needed so you can get that hip twist, okay? Three, two, one. And then we've got 40 seconds here. Our extended mountain climber with a twist, this rotation here. Again, that hip drops towards the ground. We come back to that mountain climber and then switch it up. Again, we're alternating right to left side. Key thing here, y'all, just like we did on that first half mountain climber is working for that spinal extension. Again, our spine is kind of rounded. We want to take that round out, find that extension, and then rotate. And this is a great stretch right here along the side body as you drop the hips. Beautiful job. We're almost there. Keep breathing. Keep moving. About 10 more seconds. Nicely done. Five, four, three, two, one, good work, awesome. Move number three is our tripod extension, okay? So we're going on to our bottom on the ground. Feet are going to be pressed into the floor, keeping those heels on the ground, that's key. As we drive the knees forward, reach our hand up for that tripod extension, beautiful job. Let's try one more on the other side, then we'll start our time. Again, the hips come up, we reach straight up. We try to square the hips towards the ceiling, so not allowing the hips to fall, fold, sorry, or twist to the other side. Three, two, one, again, 40 seconds, reach, and then come right back down and switch up sides. Excellent job. Now on these moving grooves, the idea is to keep a pretty decent pace, right? So try to match your breath to your movement. Nice, find where you can inhale, find where you can exhale. And again, we wanna get that back side really working here, so really squeezing your glutes at the top of this tripod extension. Beautiful. And again, that kind of helps us if we push our heels into the floor. Nice work, nice work. About 15 more seconds. Beautiful. And as you come up in that tripod extension, try to also keep your belly nice and tight. Beautiful, so we don't put too much pressure on that low back. Three, two, one, good work. All right, I'm gonna hop in here, start moving mm -hmm. with you guys. We have round two, starting with a half mountain climber, going in three, two, one, here we go. Remember guys, always, always being mindful of your breath. You can hear me and Natalie almost inhaling every time we pull our pelvis and spine up and then exhaling as we push back. That might be a good cue or a good rhythm for you. If not, 
then just try to find out how can I best sync my movement and my breath. 10 more seconds, guys. Awesome. Ooh, this one feels great. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Last rep right here, guys. Four, three, two. And then this next one that we can just go right into right it, right? Into it, yeah. Perfect. Step up, find that extension, and then we're twisting on this one. So again, allowing the feet or the hands to adjust. Coming back to the middle, you can set your knees on the ground as we push back, and then switch up sides. Again, find that extension, work for that rotation, still keeping a proud chest in this rotation here. So not just falling forward, but really driving into the floor, protecting the shoulder, and then coming back into that mountain climber. Good work. Especially in the game of basketball, guys, we almost have to be a little tight on the side of our hips, what some people would call like our IT bands. We have to be tight because we do so much change of direction. But sometimes we get a little too tight there, and that's when our knees start to bug us, or our ankles. Mm -hmm. Almost there, last five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, guys. Let's go right onto our butt cheeks here. We got our tripod ready. Yep. Two, one. All right. Now, I kind of spoke to this at the end of the last round, but as we come up, don't think about how high can I push my belly. Just get to the top here where you're squeezing your glutes, keeping that belly tight, and then hopefully feeling that stretch on the front side of your hips and through your quads. Good job. Awesome work, Matt. Great job back at home, guys. We're about halfway through it now. More than 20 seconds down. 10 seconds, y'all. Great job, Matt. You too. We got one more round right after this, guys. We'll go right back to our half mountain climbers in three, two, one, and perfect. Right to it. We'll go last round right here, guys, again. Uh, like Natalie said, for me, right, I have one tight side. When I pull my right leg up right here, I get tight. So I might pause a little bit longer, take a big inhale as I pull my pelvis up, and then exhale, uh, push myself on back. We're always big on being able to find big breaths into our belly and into our side hips. Believe it or not, it's actually a way of doing mobility, right, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Yes, and this one... Over the past couple of years has definitely gotten a lot easier, a lot better for me. But when I first started, even finding that extension, I felt like I didn't have any movement. Uh -huh. Not very hard, but uh -huh. now I feel a lot more of that space and strength in my hips. I would say you're definitely getting a lot more durable, right? Oh yeah. I love mm. that. Ten seconds, guys. Durable and resilient. Five, four, three. Two, one, and then right into our full mountain climber, guys, with a twist. And again, just like Natalie said in the beginning, let that bent knee, let it slide back with you. That's the best way to help you out. So again, lock out the leg. I let my front foot start to slide so I can make room for my back hip to hold. Mm -hmm. Nice try. Nice try. This one can be a little tricky since we have that twist. So again, just find what feels comfortable, but like a good stretch for your body. Nice job. Almost done. Oh, 10 seconds, y'all. You got it. Again, just checking in with your energy levels today. Today is not about super high intensity stuff, but it's about putting energy back into our body. Three, two, one, last time guys, we got our tripod extensions here in three, two, one, and go ahead. Nice, so let's finish out this round, and then you'll see we have a fun game for us today. Yep. yep. And then a little movement flow. Oh yeah. Also a little bit of trivia for you guys out there, because I know we got a lot of basketball fans watching. I got a Lakers shirt on. Natalie's got a Chicago Bull shirt on. If you can guess, who is a coach that coached for both the Lakers and the Chicago Bulls? If you know which one we're talking about, make sure you keep some mindfulness to that. Maybe write it down in your journal. 
We'll maybe quiz you guys on that later on. Awesome Perfect. job. Three, two, one, Ooh. and relax. Ooh, nice yeah. Work. Feeling good. Great. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully you guys are feeling good. Again, right now I know my hips feel a lot more loose. Maybe I was a little sore from yesterday and Monday's workout. So this is perfect to mm -hmm. implement so that we can show up the next couple days and hit a good workout as well. Definitely. So what we're going to do here, guys, is a game. Natalie's going to take a ball. Now, if you and your partner or you and your parent at home both have a basketball to work with, then you guys can do this at the same time. Mm -hmm. If you only have one, then you can do exactly what we're doing. One person will go and the other person can call out. Okay. Now, here's the call out. Reverse lunge or forward lunge or a hinge, which is this hamstring one there, or a squat. So we have four different types of movements. Lunge forward, lunge back, hinge, or squat. I'm gonna call one of those four out to Natalie. She's not gonna know which one. You're not gonna know which one. At the same time though, really the whole time for 40 seconds, Natalie is gonna keep the ball going with her fingertips. So if I say forward lunge, she's gotta keep that ball going. And if I say other leg forward lunge, she's gotta keep that going there the whole time. You can take a second there, Natalie. Now that we know that, we'll put on the timer, 40 seconds. You guys wait to listen to me, or if you have a partner, partner. Try to confuse them here a little bit. <laughs> Sound good, y'all? Okay, let's start it in three, two, one, and let's go hinge. So big hamstring stretch, beautiful. And then let's go squat. Perfect, Natalie. And then let's go left leg forward lunge. Woo! Oh yeah, now we got your mind thinking. Now we're gonna go left leg reverse lunge. Beautiful, there you go. Then we'll go right leg forward lunge and then right leg reverse lunge. Beautiful, let's go hinge into a squat. So Natalie will do a hinge. When she comes back up, she'll go down into a squat. 10 more seconds, guys, we're almost there, Nat. Let's go squat into a right leg reverse lunge. Beautiful, one more time, oh, left reverse. leg reverse. Yep, that's okay, one more. Left leg reverse lunge. And perfect, great job, y'all. That's a lot now, to think about. A lot to think about, and that's what we want you to do. We want your mind to get thinking. We want your mind and your body to have to communicate a little bit with each other, okay? Now, Natalie's gonna do that with me. Again, if both y'all have a ball at home, then let's just do another round here. Sound good? Love it, okay, ready? Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, here we go. Let's start with the squat. Nice, into a hinge. Beautiful. Ooh. Left leg forward lunge. Left leg forward. Woo, I almost have to say it to myself. Yeah. Right leg forward lunge. Good. Squat. I'm going to challenge myself. Ah, I'm trying to go over okay. there. Left leg reverse. Left leg reverse. <laughs> you have to repeat it. Right leg reverse. Good. Right foot forward lunge. Good. Hinge. Almost there. Left foot forward lunge. Squat, and then hinge. Ooh, ooh. 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 A little hot potato there. Uh -huh. Good, right foot reverse, almost there. Left foot reverse. And one more, squat. Nice yeah. job, nice yeah. job. <laughs> Perfect, awesome work, Nat. Okay, so we're just gonna do one round there, but obviously that's something you guys can always do at your house with your parents, with anybody. Or you can just replay the video and listen to us, okay? <laughs> yeah. now. Here's the next game for the day. For one minute, we're gonna see how many times we can stand up. That sounds pretty easy, right? Yep. But we're not able to use our hands. So the goal is, without using my hands, so I'm gonna clap my hands. So you can put them in front of you, or you can put them behind you, or in your pocket. The goal is though, can I go from standing onto the ground to lie flat onto my back, and then somehow, some way, get myself to come all the way back on up. That would be one rep right there. Sound good, everybody? We're gonna put the timer on for one minute. Let's see what we can do. Let's start standing, okay? In three, two, right. one, and we'll count out with you guys. How many times could we get onto our back and then any way we need to, to get back on up? One for me, perfect. So again, we've been doing a lot of those shin box switches, right, Natalie? Mm -hmm. This would be a great this time, position. look. Shin box, pop on up, and then step my back leg forward. But again, you guys can always get up and down any way you like. 
I might even try to challenge myself and yeah, and try to rock myself up. Oh, nope, not today. Oh, can I throw my hands? Yes, you can throw your hands. You just can't use your hands on the ground, okay? Great point. Yeah, Natalie just used her hands right, right here for momentum to help her get back up. Sound good, y'all? Keep it going. We got about 15 seconds left. How well could we do? Maybe if you've been going down the same way, maybe you try to challenge yourself. How can you get up a different way? Last five. I'm going to go down with one. Four. Ooh, three. Fancy. Two. One. And perfect. Woo. Awesome work. Again, guys, it's always good to keep play, right? To keep play as part of your routine. Regardless if you're the best player on your team or not getting a lot of play time, there's science and research that shows that having fun, right, and, and being able to play is going to help our mind stay fresh. It's going to help our mind continue to build new connections and build a better and more efficient brain, which are things that we want as an athlete. Definitely. Right? Play can help you be more creative. So yeah. that can be in any area of your life, right? And it can just bring more joy to what you're doing, which then tends to like enhance your performance. Yep. So always yep. keep a little bit of humor in there and a little bit of play. Love that. Okay, guys. Flow for the day, okay? This is like our workout of the day. Remember, your pace is all dedicated upon how you feel today. We would say on these days, the slower, the better, mm -hmm. but we're not with you guys. So if you feel like you want to ramp up your speed a little bit, then by all means. Nat's going to start with you guys. I'm going to talk you through the different phases, and then I'll jump in with you guys, okay? The first thing we have from a child's pose position with your arms locked out and your hips back to your heels, you're going to drive your hips up towards the ceiling and then come right back down. So this is the first thing we have. Let's start here. I just put the timer on right now, okay? Now, as Natalie's working through this right here, her arms are locked out and her chest is not going forward. She's constantly pressing the ground away, getting a big hamstring stretch. This, again, guys, is the first movement. Now, after the, full, the bear squat, we're going to go into a full spinal way. So from hips up, now we're going to lock out our legs, and then now she's going to try to push her spine. She's going to try to round her spine by locking out her arms all the way forward into an up dog, right? With her arms locked out and hips barely off the ground. From there, she's going to do the same thing in reverse. Tuck your chin, round your spine, get onto your toes, push your hips all the way up, and then back to where we started. And guys, that is our flow so far. So let's keep going. We got a bear squat, then lock out our legs all the way up into a full spinal wave. Once you get here to up dog, tuck your chin and then round that spine all the way on back. Now, I'm going to add the third movement. Natalie's going to keep going though. First thing, bear squat. Then the second thing, full spinal wave. Now, whenever Natalie gets all the way back towards the bottom of her spinal wave. Now, next we have a full mountain climber. So she's gonna bring one leg all the way up outside of her hand. And remember, we just did this in our warm up. Pelvis up, chest up, and then lock out that back leg. Beautiful. And of course, whatever we do on one side, we gotta do on the next side, right? So next leg comes up, pelvis up, chest up, find that long spine before you lock out the back leg and then come back down. Guys, that's our flow. Let's keep on moving. If you want to see what it looks like, again, just continue to look at Natalie. Bear squat, spinal wave, and then full mountain climber. Now, anybody who has knee pain, knee issues out there, what I'm going to say here is that when you go into your full mountain climber and when you lock out this back leg, I'm going to challenge you here. Squeeze your quad, so lock out your leg, squeeze your glute, before you switch and go on to the next phase because that right there is going to help prevent, not even so much prevent, it's going to help our knee start to function and feel a lot better, okay? Mm -hmm. Now let's keep moving, Natalie. We got our bear squat. Again, we're moving for 12 minutes. Bear squat, full spinal wave. Then after the full spinal wave, we're going to have a mountain climber. Now guys, here's the next movement. Natalie's going to come up into a mountain climber here first. Now from here, Whatever arm is right by your bent knee, pick up that hand and then bring this back leg all the way out in front of you. Boom, a little break dancing move. She's gonna pull that leg back and look, 
We're back in our mountain climber. So let's switch sides. She's going to put that knee down. Hips go back. Remember, first is the mountain climber. So find the locked out leg. Make sure you feel comfortable. Then whatever hand and arm is right by your bent knee. Pick it up and then make room for that back leg to kick on through. Again, from there, she'll push on back. And guys, that's our whole flow. Natalie's going to keep moving through that one more time before I jump in with her. Now, as you're going through this here, guys, very, very important, our front kick through, that last movement Natalie just did. If you're trying to bring your back leg through and it just feels really tight and things feel really close near your midline, then all you're going to do here is in this mountain climber, Nat is just going to put that foot a little bit wider. So now you have more room. Yep, to bring your back leg through. So that's one way to make this a little bit easier. Put your hands wider, put your leg a little bit wider so you have more room for your back leg to come through. Beautiful, Natalie. Now guys, let's keep moving here. We got about, we'll say about seven more minutes. I'm gonna jump in with you guys, okay? Great mm -hmm. job, Natalie. Thank you. Feeling good. Feeling good so far? Mm -hmm. These are some challenging moves though. So again, just move slow. Take your time, really key into that breath on these days. And Natalie, when you say to cue into your breath, where are you thinking about when you're trying to breathe? Well, a lot of people tend to breathe in their chest, like they only breathe just to this upper part of their chest. And technically, our breathing muscles are all in here. And so we want to actually send that breath, you can think down to your belly, down to your hips, that works, and then breathing, pushing your ribs out to the side is super important. Last thing is just breathing into your back. So you've probably heard us say this before, but like a big 360 breath or a big balloon breath. So as you breathe, don't limit yourself to breathing just right here in your neck and your chest. Try to make it a full body inhale, full body exhale. Awesome work, everybody. And again, guys, this is just a framework, right? I know that at any point here, you guys can add any movement that you guys would like to the flow. So specifically for me, right, what we just did in our warm-up, right, remember we did our little mountain climber twist? I might throw this in here because it feels really good in a tight area of my body. I might do this movement before I come back up, and then I'll go into my front Kick through, Whew. same time, good timing. Now again, if there's any other movements that you guys would like to add, then please add them in. This is just the foundation and the framework for you guys, okay? Ooh, like in this down dog position, I could do something we've done in our warm-up for this Ooh. rotating down dog. And that works perfectly fine. So like Christian said, we'd like to give you this framework. You could keep it you know, simple, you could stick to the moves we gave you, especially if they're all new. We actually recommend sticking to those. But if you want to explore different movements throughout this flow, we encourage that. Again, we encourage play, right? And in some ways, this is also a sense of play. So feel free to explore. Awesome work, everybody. Guys, we got about, we'll say about five more minutes to go, y'all. I'm gonna kick through, make it in time. different parts of these movement sequences might feel uncomfortable and tight. And those are usually spots we want to hang out in. Those are usually spots that are going to help us become better athletes. So again, don't just run and try to move fast through something that might feel tight or uncomfortable, but rather the opposite. Try to hang out there a little bit longer. Try to move a little bit slower through there to be able to help you guys out. Because again, and we're doing a bunch of movements to things that feel easy for us and comfortable for us, then we're not necessarily growing. We're not necessarily challenging ourselves through a challenging and uncomfortable situation. And that's where we see growth. Mm -hmm. It's also saying, 
Is it slow and smooth? Mm -hmm. Smooth is strong or smooth is beautiful? I like to say smooth is strong though. Because you're showing strength through all of these ranges as you control your body through those ranges. There's another one um, that I like. One of my favorite quotes is, when you feel the need to speed up, slow down. And so on this, it's like when your body wants to speed up, we are encouraging you to slow down and get a little bit stronger in that position. Oh, yeah. Nicely done. Awesome work, everybody. We are almost home. We have less than two minutes left. Less than two minutes left, y'all. Here we go. Whew. Just a little side note also. We have some tile floor here, not the most comfortable on the knees. So if you guys have a yoga mat or a blanket of some sort, again, just because we're doing it on the tile does not mean that you have to. Uh -huh. You can always put some extra padding underneath to help just yep. make sure that your knees are comfortable. 100%. Great job, everybody. Less than 60 seconds left. Less than 60 seconds left here. Here we go. I just kind of went out of order, but you know what? That's okay. Yep. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Put my own spin on it. I'm going to go through this here one more time. But I'm going to take a deep breath every time I get to something that feels uncomfortable. So for me, but right here, I'm going to take a breath before I finish on off. And then you know what? This feels a little uncomfortable too, right about here in my hamstrings. So I'm going to take a deep breath before I come back down. Awesome work, Natalie. Thank you. Thank you. How are we doing on time? We got about 30 seconds left. Just making sure you're aware. <laughs> Great nice job, job, everybody. Here we go. Almost home. Almost there. About 15 seconds left. Here we go. 10 seconds, y'all. Continue to breathe. You guys keep moving. Natalie's going to finish on up here. Finishing up with our flow for the day. Almost there, guys. Beautiful, Nat. Take your time moving. Awesome. Perfect. Great job, everybody. If you're moving right now, still keep moving. If you feel comfortable, you still want to keep this going. If you like how your body feels right now, then by all means, keep the flow going. If not, then let's go ahead and close out today's session. Now, this is going to take you through a quick breathing exercise to help decompress even more, and then we'll be good for the day. Sound good, y'all? Oh, yeah. Awesome work, Natalie. Thank Great job so back at home, y'all. Great work, y'all. Something that came to mind during that is just a reminder that just because it is a recovery day and we're working on our mobility and maybe some slower movements does not mean that it is easy. So if you are feeling tired or taxed, then you're not alone. These movements can be difficult, again, especially if you're very new to them. It takes some time for our body to get used to, but again, we just want to encourage you to continue to give your best effort during these days. And I promise you, they'll continue to pay off. Okay? So let's breathe a little bit. Find a position, either on your back or sitting nice and tall, or you can focus on your breath. Just find some stillness. So I'm going to make my way down to the ground, just into a seated cross leg position here. And then I'm just going to take my palms up towards the sky. Okay? So hands just kind of right on my knees. I want you to pay attention to your posture. So we talked about breath and where we're breathing earlier. So I want you to sit up nice and tall, grow tall through the top of your head, like you're reaching the top of your head up towards the sky, and then close your eyes. Let's just breathe in and out through our nose here. So again, we'll inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. And I want you to imagine your body as this big balloon. So on each inhale, you're filling up, pressing that breath, down to your belly, pressing your ribs out, expanding through your chest, your shoulders, all the way to the top of your head, and then letting all that air out. And again, we're breathing not just into the belly, but the low back, the mid back, and the upper back. 
and then letting all that air out. Let's do this three more times together. Okay, ready and inhale. Slow exhale. Inhale. Even slower exhale. Last time. Big 360 inhale. Slowest exhale yet. Awesome job, you guys. Again, just giving yourself a pat on the back. Maybe a little high five, fist bump to those around you. Excellent work today. Now, just want to remind you about our book of the month. So we're coming up to the end of the month, right? So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this book. Today is all about just taking some time to read a little bit and then maybe share. You could write in your journal or share with your friends and family members something that you've learned or a takeaway, something that resonates with you in the book, okay? Excellent job, you guys. Good work. We'll see you tomorrow.